Hi guys, it's Rike here and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Rike and I review a lot of Octopus, but if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today, I have a little Amazon leggings haul for you. I haven't done one of those in a while, you know. So I figured, why not, you know, order a few leggings off of Amazon. I was also reading through some reviews, you know, I mainly ordered blue apparently. And I have four Amazon leggings for you, all around like 20, 25 euros, so around 20, 25 bucks um so you know kind of affordable and um I also so at the time I'm filming this um this is like a week before I go on vacation for like a week and a half so I have to get some videos ready so I don't have to worry about it while I'm on vacation and um so my buff bunny packages have been taking forever so I was really hoping they'd make it here before but apparently they'll just get here when you know whenever uh I'm gonna be on vacation so hopefully they won't be returned uh, but yes because it's been for one of them it's been uh, I guess like over three weeks now since I ordered it so yeah it's been taking a while anyway so I was like okay how can I get my hands on interesting things fast and I was like oh, Amazon because you know what Amazon Germany delivers here within like one two days as well so that's great and um, it makes complete sense because Denmark isn't very big and the German border is kind of close. So I guess they have like a lot of warehouses around the border maybe so they can service Denmark properly. And um, yeah, I ordered four pairs of leggings. They usually like get delivered to the house or to the apartment. And um, it always says it'll be delivered by 8 p.m. And now this is the third time I've ordered from Amazon while I was living here. And the first two times I was always called and it was definitely after 8 p.m. And last time, for example, it was like it was like 9.30 or something. And Amazon was like, if you're sorry, your package delayed. It will probably come like in a few days. And I'm like, but it's still up for delivery. And the guy showed up around like 10 and just called me because uh, sometimes it's a little bit difficult for people to figure out what they need to bring. And then today I was like, okay, I mean, it's like past 8. I'm not worried. But of course, Amazon was like, yeah, you know, your package was supposed to deliver today, which is the 18th of September. Yeah, now expect it on the 25th and I'm like, are you kidding? Because Amazon, like, it's out for delivery, like, it is here. <laughs> and, um, you know, sure enough, I have a good, I have a good ear, so I was, like, hearing a car parking in the street and I was like, oh, I'll just take a look. And it was, like, 10 to 9 or something. I was like, oh, this looks like a guy could deliver a package. And he took a package out of the back of the car and um, he wasn't calling me, he wasn't ringing the doorbell. All of a sudden he heard like steps in the hallway and like him talking to someone maybe on the phone and I was like okay I mean I guess he's gonna come up here and ring the doorbell nothing happened and after a while I like updated the status said oh delivered to the customer and I'm like uh what and I was like okay I guess I'll go looking for it in the house and then I opened the door and it was right there <laughs> so I guess he just didn't want to ring the doorbell because it was already like nearly 9 p.m maybe you know and things don't really get stolen here that much people even park their bikes without locking them when they go to the grocery store. This is not proper Copenhagen, this is like a little bit outside, it's just so you know, in Copenhagen I wouldn't do that. Um, but yeah, and then it was really funny because it just, I'm gonna show you, it was like this Amazon package and then on top of that we had a pair of leggings. <laughs> and I was like, okay, is this supposed to be? Like, did it fall out of the package? Like, what's going on? No, apparently it was supposed to be two separate deliveries, so just, they just had slapped a um, like an address sticker on here, obviously on the other side of this, and then one on there, so it was two deliveries. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. Anyway, I have four leggings for you today, this is a long intro. I haven't done an Amazon haul in a while, but I'm sure, or I assume I have a playlist somewhere, so if I do, I'm just gonna link that one up there. But yeah, it's been a while for sure. Um, if you have any Amazon finds, let me know and I can do another one soon, because with Amazon at least I can return really easily, which is nice. And uh, yeah, so first pair of leggings, we have these ones because they were just the ones that were loose. And I've just pulled up the website here. This is from Zayo, Z-A-A-Y-O. And these are the Zayo Women's Gym Leggings Sports Body Scrunch Butt High Waist Seamless Yoga Trousers. And this color is called Light Blue, but also of course comes in a ton of other colors. Size is extra small to extra large, which is surprisingly a big size range. And most people said these fit as you would expect. Now, I'm usually in between size small and medium. If I don't know the brand, I will definitely size up for in between. So I got a medium in all the leggings today. And yeah, I picked a lot of blues because those were the prettiest colors, I think, that they had, I guess. But yeah, these also had, let me see, over 2,000 reviews and 4.0 stars. So 
I figured this would be a good try. And uh, yeah, they have a scrunch butt. A lot of Amazon leggings do have a scrunch butt. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but you know what? I'll try. I'll always try for you guys. I like the color for sure. This reminds me very much the color itself of a, a legging I have from Abel. Um, what was it like the Balance V2 or something? So the color is gorgeous. It smells a little chemical. So definitely if I were to keep these, I would definitely throw them in the wash before wearing them to the gym or for a workout. And um, yeah, we have a two-tiered ribbed waistband. These are seamless leggings as well, but you can see the two tiers here. We have some seam detailing here along the waistband. Just snatch that in a little bit. And then you have kind of like a, a slightly differently textured like piece in there kind of it's like a little bit more knitted i hope you can kind of tell the difference i'm assuming this is a little bit yeah this is definitely like meshy kind of a little bit more see-through because all the way up here so i think you have to be a little bit careful with what type of underwear you're going to wear for this or with this but it's an interesting idea i, I can't think of the top of my head what it's trying to rip off because usually right the amazon stuff is always like trying to be a rip off of something I don't know, but I think the detail is kind of nice. And then, of course, no front seam because it's seamless legging, but we do have that little scrunch butt that is kind of like the Amplify, the Alphalete Amplify legging-esque scrunch butt here, I would say. It doesn't entirely go do down all the way to the uh, gusset seam. There's a little bit of a space in between, but it is the same style of um, scrunch. And then on the inside, it's actually like interesting, a little bit softer there has the slightest bit of stretch to it maybe. And then we do have a like sewn a logo. Material is 55% polyamide, 37% polyester and 8% elastane. And um, that's kind of it for the detailing, I think. Yeah, nothing else. I will say the fabric feels surprisingly nice. Like not too thick, not too thin. Um, I'm sure it's not gonna be super squat proof, but it's also a lighter color. And I'm kind of curious to see how it fits. Yeah. I think the detailing is interesting. Yeah, the smell's a little, but uh, otherwise color is good. Details are interesting and let's see it on. All right, first pair of leggings. So there's a ton of fabric. I'm very surprised like, cause usually, you know, you would assume, oh, maybe their sizing is a little bit smaller. Um, but no, there's a ton of fabric. You can see I have a little bit of extra fabric here in the crotch area. So if you're in between sizes, you could probably size down. But then again, you probably also do want to use the scrunch to kind of shove things in between the cheeks. I don't know. I, I'm not that good at that. So I'll just leave it the way it is. But yeah, the fabric is very, very stretchy, which probably also means it's not going to be very squat proof because that's how that usually goes. But it is indeed very, very comfy. Um, we do have a high-waisted situation going on here. Belly button is down there. And then this two-tiered waistband. So it's a little bit... Um, less tight up here and then it goes a little bit tighter there but like the compression is fine it's not like too extreme or anything could be a little bit more but I'm not complaining we do have this like side mesh detailing here that goes a little bit like this and then kind of contours the cheeks a little bit here um, that I could probably like pull a little bit higher or whatever whoever you think it would be best you know you can adjust a little bit because the fabric is so stretchy and then, yeah, this is a little bit meshy. So if I, let's say, take my dark, dark scrunchie here, you can kind of see that there a little bit more than you can see it in this part because this is basically breathable. So if you were to wear like a pair of knickers that, you know, like is a little bit wider, what do you call those, like hot pants or whatever, like you'll definitely see it in here. So, you know, you kind of need to adjust your choice of underwear. Um, but probably since this is not gonna be super squat proof nude underwear is it anyway for these for these leggings Lengthwise 7 8 currently on me, but of course you could pull a little bit longer because there's so much fabric there we also do have like a little bit of a Kind of band there, but it's not super tight and overall like it's very very stretchy Then of course in the bag we do have the little booty scrunchie again You can probably shop that in between the cheeks a little bit more if that's what you want to do still nice and high waisted here in the back not really any low going and then yeah, the other detailing goes here a little bit under the glutes but it's not like too intense and the scrunch honestly i don't really feel it probably because the whole thing is so stretchy 
Because sometimes with those scrunches, you're like, oh dear, oh dear, it's so tight. And if I squat, it's going to like burst or something. I don't actually really feel it. like I can go as low as I want, like my yogi squat. I don't feel it. <laughs> so color is good. Very stretchy, very comfy. And uh, yeah, not too bad. All right, next thing, next shade of blue. These actually like say a little bit on there what they are, but I'm still gonna read it from the Amazon page. So these are the Cinefend Sport Leggings Damen. Oh, this is also kind of German Damen, so women's high waist scrunch butt push up leggings, not loose, so seamless elastic, elastic yoga hosen pants, basically. Um, so from the company Sinofend, like Elephant, but Sinofend, I guess. <laughs> and the color is one pack blue. It's not a multi-pack or anything. These are, by the way, these were the cheapest ones. They were 15 euros and 70 some cents, I think. So there you go, cheapest leggings of today. And I will say the material feels a little bit more cool to the touch than the previous one, but still kind of very similar. Definitely seamless fabric, uh, definitely a different blue. This time we have a three-tiered waistband. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's also seamless ripped waistband, but it's three-tiered, one, two, three. And it kind of looks like weird because it's kind of curved like this. I've never seen this before, interesting. And also like the rise doesn't look high enough. I don't know, something seems a little weird. We'll see. I mean, it is easy to see when you have it on, right? I also have the feeling that like they're slightly shinier than I would expect them to be. Um, obviously no front seam on these. And then in the back, we again have like this kind of butt scrunch, alpha lead style, maybe more Gymshark style. I don't know. Somewhat in between, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and then on the inside, you can see the same kind of like soft-ish finish here. And material-wise, these are 88% nylon and 12% light crust, so actually very different in composition than the previous ones we saw. Oh, and also under the glutes, we have this kind of like mesh detailing, so it's definitely like mesh, like a smile um, glute contour. And then on the side, you have this ribbed situation. It goes all the way down, so you can see we have otherwise kind of like very sleek looking fabric, and then here we have this kind of like ribbing here. So that is ribbed all the way. It's like a wide, um, yeah, wide area of ribbed fabric. I don't know, these, I, these look like wide, but not like long, kind of, I don't know. And yeah, the rice doesn't look like it's high enough. So I'm curious to see how they fit. Again, I got these in a size medium, should be okay. Theoretically. Oh, also, let's see how many reviews these ones got. These ones have only 315 reviews, but they got the same amount of stars as the first ones we saw, so 4.0 stars, at least on the German Amazon site. But I think those are usually universal if they sell it on other websites as well. Um, but yeah, let's see them on. All right, next one. I will say those chemical smells are a little stronger than, you know, the, the, the stuff I usually shop. <laughs> Like it's not like it's not like super intense that it basically hits you and like you can't breathe, but like you can definitely smell over something there. <laughs> um, yes, <laughs> but anyway, we're just uh, trying this on now. So 
So these are now, of course, different color, different brand, three-tiered waistband, but I don't really feel the difference too much. I think now, like, it feels like there's not really any compression down here. So they could have done a little bit more here and make the waistband maybe go a little bit further down. Um, but it's not the end of the world. High waistband, my belly button is down there. Of course, no front seam. And then we do have this ripped detailing all the way down, which is nice and comfy. I like the feel of it. And I was worried these wouldn't fit so well, but I think they're perfectly fine. I thought maybe the rice wasn't good enough, but I think it's fine. A little bit of extra fabric again here. I think that's a theme with seamless leggings and me. I've definitely also had that with like brands like TVO and stuff, where I got like a little bit of a Barbie crotch situation and like a ton of fabric here. So yeah, maybe again, you could test down if you're in between. And then of course we do have a little bit of a scrunch, but I feel like that one sits a little bit higher than the other one and doesn't go down as low, I don't know. This is more a bit more like the Gymshark type of scrunch, but maybe still a little bit better, I don't know. You let me know. And of course, again, you could do probably a better job at like shoving things into the crack if you wanted to. Not my thing, so I'll just leave it as is, you know. And then also, because I've tried that before, and every time you squat or something, you have to readjust. Like, how annoying is that? <laughs> Maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know, but I also don't really care, so that's fine. Color is fun. Again, like kind of a little bit shorter than the 7 8 length, but I can probably pull it a little bit lower just because there's so much stretch to this. And it's really hard for me to believe that the fabric composition is so different compared to the first one, just because the fabrics feel very similar. But then again, I don't know enough about fabrics to know if that's reasonable, you know, that they feel so similar. So uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. <laughs> And again, let's see if I can feel the scrunch. Nope, absolutely not. Like, it's, it's like so stretchy and like you don't feel it. I swear, when I was trying the Alpha Lead Amplify leggings, which I think started this whole butt scrunch situation because Gymshark used to do it for years and nobody liked it. And then they did it and all of a sudden like Amazon has butt scrunch leggings everywhere. And like that one was definitely tight. Like I could feel it, like it wasn't the end of the world, but I could definitely feel it, but I don't feel any of those. Interesting. Yes, um, I mean, that's not bad. You know, that's absolutely not bad. Like, I feel like if you if you add that feature, please make it so that it doesn't inconvenience me, of course, you know, but it's interesting. Let's move on. All right, next one, another blue. I know, it's been a lot of blues. This one is a little bit more turquoise, at least, I guess. And these are the Core Core, Core Core, women's leggings, sports trousers, highway seamless trousers, gym yoga sports, in the color one blue. So it's not called turquoise or anything, but Core Core, C-O-R-C-O-A-R. Never heard of it. These have only 71 reviews, but 4.2 stars. So slightly more. Again, size medium. This logo looks suspiciously the same as the one we found on the first bag. Like, if we compare this, these look very similar. Like, these bags could be from the same company. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if these leggings are different or not. At least the color is different. And let me just open these. It's a fun color, I'll give them that. Oh, we don't have any scrunch on these, not even a proper back seam. Now I have to check if, if it said something about scrunch or not, because to be fair, I didn't look at it too much. It, it definitely showed like some um, 
blue contouring, which I can see here. Oh, it actually didn't talk about scrunch. Which is perfectly fine. Because as I had mentioned in the beginning, like I'm not the biggest fan of a scrunch, but I do pref like I do like a proper seam in the bag. Just for a little bit more glute separation, so we don't have that here. But let's let's go through it. These also have an interesting smell, like the first ones. Um, made from 72% nylon, 20% polyester, and 8% spandex, so different composition for sure. Because very, very soft. <laughs> the smell. Like it's not like super like it's definitely like I don't know, it's kind of like a laundry detergent, but also not. Hmm. Um, we have a just one tiered waistband, so only ribbed waistband here. It's quite wide and definitely has some compression to it. Yeah, no front seam, obviously. And then on the sides, we have this little like darker area. I don't know if you can see it, but like it's slightly darker. It's a little bit like what navigation does. I've never actually reviewed proper navigation, so I don't. I mean, I only know it from pictures, you know, <laughs> but there's like a wider thing that kind of like it just goes, curves a little bit like this. And then we also do have slight contouring under the glutes, but it's really not like super intense, um, but it's there. And then we do have like slightly triangular, like ribbing here in the back as well. So there's a little bit going on, but it's not super in your face, which is surprising because a lot of these Amazon leggings are kind of very much in your face with detailing and um, booty scrunch and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, very surprising. Um, yeah, just interesting smell. They're very, very stretchy. So curious to see. And maybe my favorite color of them all so far. Let's see them all. All right, next one. Now the fabric def definitely feels a little bit different compared to the first two leggings we saw. This one has a bit more compression, a little bit less extra fabric in the crotch area and like a slightly different texture, I would say. It also is slightly mild, so we do have that going here. Um, again, still very high-waisted though, with the um, ribbed waistband, this time only single-tiered, nothing too fancy, but still gives you enough compression. And my belly button is down there, of course, no front seam. And um, this one definitely smells like, like laundry detergent, but like weird laundry detergent, <laughs> I don't know. But I feel like the smell's strongest with this one. Like it's not like the worst smell in the world, but like it's definitely there. And like, it's not how my laundry detergent smells. <laughs> so very, it, it, it irritates me. <laughs> um, we do have this kind of like curved, darker shading here. I don't know if you can see it, I hope so. Um, I don't know if I need to adjust this differently. And also if you've tried navigation before, please do let me know if that's like something that reminds you of that. And then obviously these were the ones that didn't have the butt scrunch. So we have more of a unibutt situation. I would have really, really, really appreciated like a proper seam here in the back. Cause yes, we do have the slightly triangular like ripped situation there, but it doesn't do too much. And obviously you could take, again, you could take the fabric and like shove it a little bit more towards the crack. I know people also do that with the navigation leggings, but honestly, I just want a proper seam in the back. That's all I'm asking for. And again, obviously, I mean, these leggings are much, much cheaper than all those high-end brands um, and not necessarily any worse. But yeah, I just would have appreciated like a proper seam at the back. You know, it doesn't have to be a scrunch, just, just a little bit something. Lengthwise, these are kind of a seven eighth length on me. Still very, very stretchy, even though, like I said, they are maybe a little bit more compressive. And that's just compared to the first two that were so stretchy and basically had zero compression. So this is, like a light, I don't even want to call it medium compression, but like a light compression. And it feels really nice. I'm feeling hugged, you know? So I don't have any complaints about that. I think it's nice. I also, I'm usually not the biggest fan of mild colors, but I think here it's actually, you know, well done. I don't mind it at all. I think it looks good with the, with the kind of turquoise color that we have going here. And overall, you know, not bad. Is it something super special? No. But also, again, I've never shopped from Navigation, for example, because I didn't think their stuff was special enough to do that. So this is, you know, also not super special, but it's decent, I guess.
All right, and last but not least, these are the most most rated leggings that I've bought, like so the most rated ones in this haul, and also the best rated ones. That can, that's good, right? So here we have, or maybe I should show you this one, the Joy Spells, no Joy, yeah, Joy Spells scrunch butt leggings, women's high waist, booty lifting, butt push up, seamless gym, and sports trousers. But yeah, from the company Joy Spells, um, they actually you know, have their own bag. So it says Joy, Joy Spells on here and Joy for you. So a little bit more branded. Um, in the bag, it actually also, you know, tells you about the brand and like some other details, I guess. Um, yeah, their address in China and they have a support, German support and UK support customer service email, apparently. And um, yeah, there's even a little card in there. So let's go and get that one out before we see the links. And yeah, it just says Joy Spells and Joy for You. Thank you for choosing Joy Spells. And you can join the Instagram community for exclusive benefits or whatever it says. Yeah, exclusive benefits, exactly. And it also says, Dear customer, if you notice any wrinkles in your clothing when open package, lay it flat or hang it up to let them naturally smooth out. Washing will also restore the item to its original state. Because I don't know if you have that sometimes, but like, it, like some areas can look a little darker where it's been folding and stuff, so that can happen. Um, but yeah, here we go. I thought these were going to be a little bit more teal, but they're definitely a little bit more green leaning. So they're kind of breaking our blue spell here. This way around. Um, the material feels again very nice and soft, very stretchy as well. Like I feel like all of them felt pretty decent material wise so far. Um, we only have a one tiered ribbed waistband here. Then no front seam obviously and this material feels like maybe the least stiff, not that the other ones were stiff, but this one definitely has more of a flow to it. I don't know if that's good or bad for a pair of leggings. Um, and yeah, then we have a little bit of an under uh, glued contour, kind of like a smile shape thing again. I hope you can see it, but it's like kind of here. And this time it's made from like a, like a mesh situation a little bit. Like, actually when I stretch it out, it's not becoming that more obvious. But like there's definitely some contouring. So it starts here in the side and then kind of goes under the glutes. And we do have a little booty scrunch here as well. As you can see, all of the scrunches look very, very similar to me. Um, again, like the softer material on the inside here. Fabric wise, we do have 91% polyamide and 9% elastane. And overall, like they've all been different fabrics too. Oh, this one is the first one with the hang tag. Honestly, I could do without the hang tag. <laughs> And it just tells you it has lycra in it. That's great. And yeah, it has like the Joy Spills tag. Because obviously, I mean, you also pay for the for the for that yourself, right? <laughs> With the price. And then on the inside, we actually do have Joy Spells like in the waistband here, interestingly enough. Um, but otherwise, I don't really see a logo on the outside or anything. So same as with all the others, there's not really any logos um, just on the inside, which I guess is nice. I mean, why not? But yeah, definitely more green than the teal I kind of expected. But what is the color called? Because I didn't look, I just clicked through and looked at the color. To be fair, it's called blue green, but I definitely would say it's more green than blue. Yeah, and the blue green is teal, to be fair, right? And some teals can lean a little bit more blue and some teals can lean a little bit more green. So it's all perfectly fine. I think it's a really nice color. And um, let's see it on. All right, our last pair here. And this one, again, too much fabric in the crotch area and possibly like the most stretchiest, like most loose fitting one of them all. So definitely I would say do size down if you're in between. So with this one, we do have again, a ribbed waistband, just a single tier, high waisted. My belly button is down there. But like, I feel like I'm also getting the least amount of compression from this waistband. Like you can definitely get some lower tummy pooch here. Um, yeah, so like no compression in this area at all. If you're looking for that, these are probably not it for you. And honestly, these are like very similar to the first two. And out of those three, because I don't want to compare them to the turquoise ones because they were just slightly different. Out of the first two and this one, I like these ones the least, I think, because the other ones just fit a little bit better. I just got like a little bit more, more out of the waistband, you know, and these are definitely not the cheapest out of them three. So yeah, I would go with one of the other two, I think. 
Otherwise, I mean, the color is nice. Like I said, I would have imagined this being a little bit more teal. It's a little bit more green leaning than I thought, but it's perfectly fine. No um, front seam, obviously, you know. But yeah, a ton of fabric here in the crotch area. Probably a little bit harder to see because it's a darker color, but you know, it's there. Seven eighth length, but again, you could probably pull this a little bit longer. And then in the back, we have the booty scrunch again. So here, I think the scrunch is a little bit nicer than with the second legging, those like royal blue ones but it's not better than the first one, I would say. Um, yeah, again, no logo. You saw that here, this one, we have the logo on the inside, whereas for the other ones, we didn't have a logo at all. But we also do have the hang tag, which I find a little bit annoying, personally. <laughs> I always find hang tags annoying, especially because if you're trying something on and you accidentally rip it off while you're trying it on, right? You have to keep it, like, that's not fair. Um, but yes, so I mean, it fits well. We do have the scrunch there. And when I squat this one, I can actually feel a little bit. <laughs> like it's not intense at all compared to Alpha Elite. It's not intense at all. Um, but like I can, I can feel it a little bit. Like especially like kind of up here ad ab above the the bigger cheek area. Like this is where I can feel it a little bit. Huh? Interesting. So the other ones were a little bit more comfy. Again, it's not bad at all, but I can definitely feel like the tiniest bit off the scrunch. Interesting. But yeah, I mean, otherwise it looks very similar. I think we have the kind of like dotted like detailing here. Might be hard to see again. That kind of goes under the glutes here. So they all had like a little bit of different detailing. Um, and honestly, I mean, I don't see it anyway. It's like back there, not where my eyes are. So do I really care? No, I care about like what fits the best. And uh, yeah, I think these are definitely not my top choice out of today's video. But they're not bad. Again, like none of these were bad for the price they were compared to more expensive brands. So can't really complain, but out of the four, I wouldn't pick these if I had to pick one. All right, it's conclusion time. Here's our little stag. I think the colors are really nice. That's what I really appreciate about most Amazon brands. There's so many colors to pick from. So if you like one of them, you can get some more colors in it. Or if you just want a specific color, you can most certainly find something in that particular color. So that is really nice. Um, prices sometimes differ depending on the color you choose, the offer of the day, the size you pick so of course like the, the the pricing is a little bit more you know kind of all over the place I think because for example for this one the price I saw today when I was checking the item out on the website was like four euros more expensive than what I paid for it so I think it's like really just like a matter of when you shop as well and obviously there's so many different brands flying around um, Amazon so it's really really hard to kind of know what you should be buying especially because a lot of them offer the same things so i mean obviously go by reviews i also like it when people included actual pictures in their reviews where you can actually see the people that are posting these pictures not just some random pictures off of some website or something um and obviously with amazon you can easily return at least you have like the protection through amazon um that basically tells you that things should be going okay <laughs> but yeah i mean was there anything super special here no but like are they way worse than stuff you can buy for like triple the price or double, double to triple the price? No. Like, I feel like it's becoming harder and harder to kind of see the difference between the really expensive brands and the Amazon brands. 
And of course, partially that's also because some brands that are expensive do use the same um, suppliers, the same producers, the same companies that make the stuff as those Amazon brands, right? The Amazon brands just don't really slap their logos on there. They don't really have to go through the um, the making the garment process. They just take the finished blueprint and just go, right? They don't have the, the like, what do you call it? Like the invention process. I mean, it's not really an invention, like it's a legging, right? But yeah. And from time to time, I think it's fun to kind of see what's out there, what Amazon has to offer. Like I said, is it anything super special? No. But like, if you're looking to save some money, if you're looking for a specific color, like I said, like I said, then, you know, Amazon could be the place for you. Yeah, let me know what you think. Um, do you usually shop your activewear through Amazon? Um, what was your favorite legging? And yeah, if you have any feedback, any suggestions, drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also follow me on Instagram, see some pieces in action there. And also DM me there, but I'm more likely to see your comments here on YouTube. So if there's ever, thing you want, ever anything you want me to see, drop a comment down below. Uh, yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to my channel so you get notified about all the new videos that are coming out. And you don't miss one. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Bye.